So today I got from UPS my brand new Nokia 1680 phone from T-Mobile. And I just want to point out that I ordered it yesterday and got it today. T-Mobile offers free shipping on all of their phones. Now, um, I've already opened the box for video purposes, and now I'm going to show you what's in the box. Oh, wow, there's the requisite uh, sort of invoicey type papers and crap, and T-Mobile uh, propaganda, and how to get started, and okay, who cares. Okay, let's take a look at this phone. Yush. All right, this is T-Mobile. Wow. And uh, I can't see what comes in it. So I'm going to have to crack this bad boy open and then show you what's in the protective plastic wrap. Be right back. Okay, so with the help of a samurai katana, I was able to open the plastic covering. And um, I just want to add, inside the box, I noticed that there is a prepaid shipping label if you want to ever send this thing back, which I think is pretty awesome. What disappointed me was I got this little thing for uh, free companion flights um, to fly with my family in 2009, which expires on the 24th, and I ordered this on the 29th, so uh, fail on that one. But anyway, getting back to the content of the box. So here we have your getting started with T-Mobile. Um, you also have here your activation card that comes in the box, some warranty information, a little user guide in English and Spanish, and then inside this little uh, plastic form-fitted container, we have the phone itself, which I have to say is so delightfully lightweight. It really makes me um, nostalgic for my old Nokia 3395, but this is way cooler. I guess we'll put that back there. You know, why T-Mobile, people might ask. Why, why T-Mobile? They don't really have the best service. They don't, but they do have pretty awesome prepaid plans. I did my research, and I'm not going to say they're the best because that's subjective, but I think that they definitely are competitive in terms of prepaid plans. So you get your little phone, you get um, some sort of old school uh, hands-free device, which, you know, I'm sorry, it's not Bluetooth compatible, guys, so just forget it. If, if you need to wear your, uh, as George Lopez would say, your masputo, forget it, leave it home. We also have your travel charger, and of course, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the battery in this phone and check out some of the features. Okay, so even with the battery and the SIM card in, it's still really light. Okay, let's see if we can get this started. Oh God, I'm so excited. <gasps> yes! It lit up. Oh, please, please let me see. Oh, look at... So, I've been using this phone a couple of days now, and so far, I would have to say that it works pretty well. You know, I mean, it, um, it, it does what it's supposed to do. It makes calls. The sound quality is pretty good. The camera is what you'd expect from a, a really cheap phone. I mean, it's, you know, it's not going to be, uh, you know, uh, professional quality, but I do have to say that the phone, um, the camera in the phone functions really well in low light. So why would I want a camera phone like this one, as opposed to maybe a higher end model like this lovely Nokia N95 8GB? Well, <clears throat> with a phone like this, first of all, it's much heavier. Um, the battery life is not as good, although it is pretty good. And since I already have one of these, right, I have this lovely iPhone, I really don't need another smartphone, which is going to run up my phone bills. I just need another phone to make calls. So that's why I opted for this little cutie, and it was maybe like $49.95 for the whole thing, plus $30 in call credits. So basically, I'm getting a camera phone for 20 bucks. You get what you pay for, folks. So I would say if you want a good, reliable, cheap camera phone with a camera that you're rarely going to use, I would say go for this. Nokia 1680.